So we've been speaking so much about equity mutual funds. Today, let's look at the other option, debt mutual funds. Now, these funds invest primarily in bonds and fixed income securities. So essentially, at the grassroots level, what it means is you're lending money and earning interest on it. The concept of debt is if I took my money, lent it to a corporate or to government for a fixed period of time so that I get remunerated for that period in the form of an interest is called debt. As an example, I have lent one lakh rupee to my cousin three years back and he has promised me 10,000 rupees on that one lakh which is nothing but 10% every year till the time he uses it and he's also indicated that he's going to need this money for five big years. This is nothing but a hand loan but in a formal structure it becomes a debt instrument called a bond or a debenture. So you've chosen to go down the debt route but had you actually invested in his business and become a partner you'd be dependent on how his business actually performs. But in the formal structure Firoz Surely there isn't just one way for debt mutual funds to lend out money, right? There are actually five different debt instruments which are commonly used to form a debt fund. One of them is called the Treasury Bill where you're lending to a central bank. In our case, it's RBI. The second one is called CD, which is a short form or an abbreviation to Certificate of Deposits. These are issued by banks just like a fixed deposit, but fixed deposits are non-transferable between two individuals, but CD, Certificate of Deposit, is transferable. The third instrument in the short-term category is called the Commercial Paper, abbreviated as CP, is nothing but short-term borrowing, less than 12 months mostly, by corporates. On the long-term category, when a corporate borrows money for longish kind of time frames, those are called debentures. And if you're lending to a government for long periods of time, those are called bonds. Like government issues 10-year bonds, those are 10-year borrowings by the government. These five instruments largely form 80-90% of any debt funds holdings. So these instruments pay a periodic interest and hence generate a fixed amount of return. But these seemingly safe instruments, uh, Firoz, do they also carry some kind of risk? When we speak of debt mutual funds and mm. debt investments, there are two risks to keep in mind. One is called the credit risk, where you lend to a corporate and the corporate never pays back the money or defaults on the date when it is expected to pay the money. The second risk, which is again very important to keep in mind, is once you buy the bond, the market interest rates could go up and down, which will change the price of your bond. That's called an interest rate risk. But this is a topic to elaborate on another day, Sumera. Compounding is one of the tools to multiply your wealth, and it's certainly one of the most underutilized tools. What it does is that it reinvests your money, and for that, you need to give it time.